This is Michael Wu from eProgrammer.com. I'm going to talk about how to do optimization study in PoE. What I mean is, sometimes you need to design a structure, uh, but you want to minimize the weight. Uh, at the same time, you want the structure to able to stand for like 6,000 Newton, something like that. Um, so how can you design a structure with minimize the weight but able to withstand the certain amount of force? In this case, I have a, a rectangle here. This bar in here is just a very simple rectangle. I go to do a mechanical study. So I make a restriction. Displacement constraint I fix the left end. Now I add the gravity force on it. The gravity force is equal to minus nine point eight one uh, meters per second square. So after I add that, when I click TV, you can see an arrow pointing downward. Now I add some external force on it on the top of the surface. And I add a thousand kilonewton. We need to assign the material before we do the study. Assume we add the steel at the material, and then we assign the material. After the material is assigned, you will see a tag at the material. Now we can do the mechanical study. We need to first do a standard study for, uh, to begin with. Now I'm doing a statistic analysis. Is static analysis that is um, a standard one, a standard study. That is really nothing special. At this time, it does not do any about optimization yet. It does not minimize the rate in order to uh, still able to stand for the 1,000 kilonewton. But you have to do it. Because when you assign optimization study, it will ask you what you want to do. You need to refer to that specific previous study. Now, we want to minimize the total mass. And then also to withstand a certain amount of one missing stress. This time I select the parameter. It's the width. Uh, no, it's the thickness. I set the constraint, the one missing stress value. I said the one missing stress for this structure have to be less than 3 e to the power 8. And the thickness will be changed by po e. It will find the minimum thickness to stand the amount of force. 
After five minutes, you can see it come up with a value. The D3 is 1.59 inch. Now we can display the graph. If you focus on the white upper corner, you can see 2.983 e to the power 8 on there. That is the maximum stress in this model which is just a tiny little bit less than 3g to the power 8. You can also show the displacement result. This is a very useful tool.